welcome back to what I think will be the last part, depending on how these go. We got three games left. The so. last part of Mario Party. Man, this has been a long journey. I don't, I don't know what. I have to look and see where we when we started this, <laughs> but I mean, we started this probably like two years ago. I don't know what the hell else were we playing when we were like. Because I mean, we picked this up like up like you know on and off. <laughs> I was busy talking to you and I wasn't paying attention to what the fuck I'm doing. What was yeah, he, he saying about careless mistakes? I didn't say anything about a careless mistake. What I was saying was uh, we always like picked like picked it up and dropped it, you know, just because yeah. we were doing other things. Damn. Well, fuck. Man, his jump, the jumping in this particular game right here is very awkward. It's like that teetering towers type of... The greatest hit of Disturbed. I don't know if you sent that for me to look at, Lee, or... There we go. That was... I made that a lot harder than it really was. Although that is very awkward. It's kind of funny that this is the one thing that popped up first. <clears throat> I like how when you go past that thwomp one, it does that little... Arr! <laughs> You're gonna have a lot of scrolling to do. Yeah, I need to really think about or like putting these all in playlists. We were playing Yoshi's Story, I think, when we started this, weren't we? It was that long ago? We were playing maybe four, like Mario Four. Oh my God! I remember fucking Bomberman? Oh yeah. Oh God! I really want to play play a Bomberman game now. No, we were playing Resident Evil Four. Let's see, we started it... Bruh. March 29th of 2019. And today is... July 26th? July 26th, 2020 is when we're yep. recording. It. And it'll be posted you know, later <laughs> than that. Damn, that's some... <laughs> that's insane. Is there, are we going to end up with more parts with this than we did four or uh, RE4? No, no. <clears throat> Not even close. RE4 was 55 parts. Or 51 parts. I imagine Ocarina of Time is probably going to be more than any of them. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Alright, well here is the goal, but what's that? Somebody's riding the cloud and coming this way. Is that... Well, who do you think of? Toad! It's that spy scientist from Goldeneye. <laughs> 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 Wait a second. Lastly, you must compete with me, Toad. We will complete compete in the slot car derby minigame. Now, let's start. Wouldn't it suck if he's like, we're going to compete in paddle battle or <laughs> something else like that again? Should have tagged Zach in for this. Good lord. This is a lot harder version than. Fuck. I'm not starting off very well either. He really boot scoots around this course here. I'm very much not. Yeah, I can't believe this is the last game. Maybe? Will I get him? Yeah! New record! We are. Wrapping this up with a new record. So, two years ago today, we uploaded Yoshi's Story Part 2, Eat Apples. Really? Eat apples. I knew it. You'll easily make it as a superstar on the world's beyond the warp pipe. Nice work, Donkey Kong. Perhaps only you <laughs> brimming with wildness. <laughs> Is that what you're brimming? In literally six days, two years It'll and be six super. days, we played Where's Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> With that stylish tie around your neck. 
Always fashion conscious. They're talking DK's fashion conscious. Ugh. Keep up the good work. We're rooting for you. So that is the end of Minigame Island. Which is actually one of my favorite modes in the game because it's different than anything else that you can do. I never beat that with DK before, so... Yeah, what do we got? We got like five minutes left. I'll run the credits just because we're done with this now. I don't know where to find them. <laughs> well, that was a hell of a journey. More than a year. At least they're not here. Oh, well that's... That's the first fucking episode we ever did. Trip down memory lane there. <laughs> that's what I said. That's the first thing I ever said. Because it didn't pick up say, us saying welcome to... Uh, in, welcome to something and then it's like... And you're just like, yeah! Bang! <laughs> I don't know why I chose to do that, but... Here we are. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, blast from the past. Boy and his blob. Jaws. We played Jaws so early in this fucking channel. Oh boy. Holy fuck. Seven parts to win a fucking like 20 minute game. Four parts of Aladdin. One long part of Contra. I forgot about Contra. Man, we played Super Metroid like so fucking early in the channel. I didn't even notice that. That's because you're so passionate about that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I wouldn't mind replaying this again in some other fashion, you know what I mean? Well, you're doing one on... Uh... Like a little uh, hack there. I mean, I don't know if hack is the right word, but. Otherwise known as. It's a very slow intro. It's a super Metroid train. You 100%ed that game, too. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> and did it within the time limit to get the best like the ending. The best ending or whatever. I don't know if I've ever seen the credits for this. I totally forgot we were playing a game like we're recording. I just started looking up, like, just reminiscing. Because we were looking at how long ago that we started this, and we're ending it right now. Mario Party, all one word, staff. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fucking nailed it. <laughs> oh, shit. Kenji Kikuji. Minigame designer. Great concepts, but very uh, primitive in their execution. I always hate like crushing an early game like this because of... Especially in 64 because, games. Because like, they were fucking garbage back... Like, today, they are great back then. I mean, at the time, this was like... And especially like because you couldn't... Nobody had ever seen a board game on a video game console quite like this and it started an absolute fucking legacy of you know <laughs> I know like, greatness. we're up to like how many fucking Mario parties now well there's 10 that they've not is it, it might there's be a, 10 that they've 10 numbered. that they've numbered there's one on switch that they didn't number there's a couple on like DS and there's a Game Boy Advance one I think and a Game Boy yeah. or a uh, Nintendo DS and then I... Th There's a 3DS one is also. Is there a 3DS yeah. one? Okay. Island Tour. Then there is the one on Switch. What are we at? Like 14? Like just... Probably some others that we forgot. But... And then you have the Mario and Sonic Olympic games. You have like fucking five of those. That's sort of the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Not a board game. Mihu Nita. Ooh, that's a that's a very raunchy name. <laughs> oh, take Kenobu. Misa Nagi. <laughs> <laughs> do we always have to do this? <laughs> uh, there's no good ones on that one. 
Original, original character. character. Q talking. <laughs> boo. Hey, boo. Later on, he becomes a playable character instead of like a space that. I think he becomes a playable character in the eighth game or ninth game. I say I think it's six or seven. Because I don't think he was in eight. Because it was Dry Bones, the Hammer Bros, Birdo, and then. I think he actually was like he had a board in eight. Like I think he was like a. Yeah, he had a whole board. Yeah, there. he wasn't involved as a. Because he was the mansion or whatever that would like yeah. switch up rooms. You walk into a room, it could be Bowser, it could be yeah, yeah, the star, yeah. or it could be nothing. Yeah, some of those later boards, those are something else too. Though. I'm telling you, man, Mario Party Four, that's my favorite. Get set. To you get know what wrecked. though? I actually think the best mini games. And I could be, you know, I'm probably forgetting some. Well, the Switch ones have really awesome ones, but. I like the older ones. I think three probably had the best mini games. That's for 64s. Yeah, it's the last one for the 64. I'm gonna have to like slowly buy these for us to play them. Well, I mean, I own all of them. So. Well, I mean, I want to own all. Of them. I already own them all. <laughs> Eat a dick. <laughs> I own all the X games. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> You can have that one. I, I I'll, Yeah, that's a pretty expensive that's... collection. <laughs> I'll just tip my hat and... I own all of the, uh... OG and Mega Man's. Except for Technic... No, technically the 9 and 10. I don't own them on, like, their, like the Wii or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can't buy them anymore on the Wii, because they took down the... Hey, there's your package think. illustrator. Fuck them. Fuck him. I got a lot of ridiculous stuff that I own. I just spent $70 on old NES Frankenstein game not too long ago. That I guess I'll have to bring over just because I feel like I need to get my money's worth out of it. Is Earthbound the most expensive, like, single game that you've bought? So I know Steve said that he bought Action 52 for, like, $250. That's not bad which, for buying that. Yeah. Like, usually that's, like, a fucking $350, $400 yeah. game. You got it off of eBay, I bet, right? I, I would guess so. <clears throat> I don't imagine you're just going to run into that out in the world. Honestly... It's a fight between Mega Man X3 and Earthbound. Because you bought Earthbound since I've known you. It's been in the last, like, what, four years, three years, whatever. Four like. years. And my most expensive, like, console, like, with all the add ons and shit, is probably the Sega CD and 32X. Yeah. Well, anyway, that was Mario Party 1. That was a long journey. And a huge discussion of the past. <laughs> Try to figure out what we are the on. superstar. We're the super blasting bros. Well, next time, we'll get started on Mario Party, Mario 2. Party 2 with Steve. He'll be here for that stuff. So. Hopefully. Get your ass out of, off of vacation, boy. You bet your ass. Uh, that was terrible. I should have not ended the episode with that. Bye.